But why do we have to move here? It's creepy. I don't like it. Anywhere we go, we have to drive to. Now this freaking storm. Wi-Fi is completely off, and sooner or later, the lights are going to go. Okay, so you're not afraid of the dark. I am. How can people live here when all this quiet? It almost don't seem natural. You didn't want to live in the city. So I found this nice place out here in Long Island, and you don't like it here either. Oh my God, why does it not have to be so loud? Mama, it's weird, but every time I heard the thunder tonight, I could hear like sounds of a man. A man? What do you mean? Like the sounds of a man screaming or moaning. Moaning? Like love making moaning? No. Like you're hurting me moaning or you're killing me moaning. <laughs> you're a victim of too much television and movies. I keep seeing images of him in my head. Poor Grandpa, he didn't deserve to die like that. It's been 13 months. You have to forget it. We have to get on with our lives. Leroy is such a kind and gentle spirit. I couldn't believe it. What made him snap like that? Why do you think Leroy stabbed him 13 times? It was horrible. Is there any type of significance in that? Or was it just a strange coincidence? It was just a coincidence. You probably wasn't in his right mind. I keep wanting to run. There's nowhere to go. Some nights. I had these weird dreams. I see myself walking in the rain. It's dark outside. But the rain is pouring like crazy. But in the rain and in the dark, I start to hear footsteps behind me. In the rain? Yes, Mama, in the rain. But Mama, the rain don't sound like rain. It sounds kind of different. I mean, it is rain. But I hear a small growl under the rain. A oh, man. Then the growl gets louder and louder. It's the man getting closer and closer. I start to run, run, run. I'll scream and run. I'm running my behind me still. But man, looks like my brother. Uh, uh, Leroy? That's the only brother I got, Mama. But I keep running. And as I turn the corner, Stacy, what's the matter? What's wrong? Leroy, somebody is chasing me. Who, who is it? Yo, yo, who's coming after my sister? Hmm? Who's coming after my sister? It's you! It's you, Leroy. It's you, it's it's you. No, 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 I would never hurt you. I'm your brother. I'm your brother. I would never hurt you. I love you. Stacy, I love you. I love you very much. Come here. Come here. Come here. Stacy, come here. Come here. But mama, he's no longer sick. He doesn't have a mental condition. He's not crazy. Leroy, it's you. You're chasing me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Stacy, come here. Come here, girl. It's me. It's me. Come to your brother, Leroy. Come here. I love you, Stacy. Do you hear me? You never have to worry about anything, Stacy. Understand that I'm your brother and I will always protect you. 
I love you. I love you very much. Then melts into the rain. I look around and there's no one there. Just silence. The rain has stopped. Just me in a big world. My dear, you are concerned about your little brother. And you want him to be normal. I know. I miss him. And I love him. I raised him, Mama. You were too busy always working. Even with all the horrible things he did, you think my brother will ever come home? Mm, no. They say he was beyond insane. Ah, he will be, well, I believe, institutionalized probably for the rest of his life. I love him, but I never want to see him again. You should have gotten him help sooner. Stop reliving the past. Seems like violence just follows our family around. <laughs> no such thing. Mama, you got you got blood on your hands. You're bleeding. Oh. Uh, washing off the knife. Why don't you use a dishwasher like I told you to? Now, no, I don't use electronic appliances when it's thundering out. My mother taught me that. I only keep the lights on because we don't have candles. Thank God. Besides, you know, this uh, butcher knife was a gift from your grandpa. A fine quality knife like this. It doesn't belong in the dishwasher. Oh, really? Yeah. I always wash it by hand. Well, let me look at that cut you got. Maybe. From the amount of blood, it, it may be a little deep. I can take care of it myself, honey, okay? Mama, let me help you. It's okay, I got it. The lights, they're about to go. Uh, don't panic. I just have to find a circuit breaker and put in a new fuse. I'll help you with your hand once you find the light. It's okay. Like I said before, there was a large amount of blood and maybe I should look at it. It's okay, I'll take care of it myself. Sorry, mom, but I insist. Give me your hand. Oh, darn, the lights went out. Mom, behind you. What's wrong with you, child? Calm I down. There's something behind you. Calm down, calm down. Demon, something, I saw it. Have you, have you been taking your meds? No, but I saw behind you, mama. You need to take your medicine. You know depression and anxiety can creep up on you at any time. I'm fine, mama, I'm not hallucinating. You sure it wasn't Mr. Aaron? It wasn't Mr. Aaron. He's in his room sleep. Hmm. How do you know he's in his room sleeping? I just know. Trust me, I know. Anyway, you told me that earlier. I feel better if we had a man up with us. 
Now, you know Mr. Aaron works hard all day long and he needs his sleep. Besides, he doesn't want to be up in the middle of the night babysitting two grown women. Yeah. Listen, you hear that? What? Oh, rain? Thunder? What? So? No, listen hard. I can almost hear footsteps. In the rain? There's someone out there. Well, let them stay out there. No, Mama, I'm serious. My daughter. How are you? We're, we're fine. What what brings you out in this, this storm in, in the middle of nowhere? This is a wellness check. I saw the lights coming from your house. All the power's down throughout the area. It may not be safe. You got to come with me. Uh, well, I have a backup generator. You see, my, my daughter's afraid of the dog. Oh. Aren't you a little too old to be afraid of the dog, young lady? Whatever. The storm may be getting worse. The bridges are down. The roads are closed. Maybe you should come and get shelter. Baby. The sheriff put together a cots in the school down the road. You go with the nice trooper. And leave you here by yourself? Oh, but Mr. Aaron is here. Oh, yes, Mr. Aaron. We need to tell him that he, you need to wake him so that he can get shelter if he wants to. Oh, you sure learned a whole lot about Mr. Aaron here lately. You know he's a man who works hard all day and needs his sleep. Besides, a great big old man like that, you think he's afraid of the rain? I guess you're right. Is that it, sir? I'm sorry? Is that it, sir? Okay, then. I'll be back about 45 minutes to an hour to check up on you. Oh, that would be so good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Wait, you're saying there's a man living in this house? Yes. Can I have a word with him, please? Oh, but he's sleeping. Sleeping? Yeah. Okay, like I said, I'll be back in 45 minutes to an hour to check up on you. Oh, that would be good. Thank you for that. Absolutely. Is that it, sir? For now, yes. I'll see you in about 45 to an hour. Uh, uh, be before you go, right? Would you cook, would you check the outer perimeters? Um, my daughter's a little paranoid. Absolutely. Copy.
I'm just getting that creepy feeling again. Well, you're just getting paranoid. I am not, Mama. There's someone out there. Someone coming up the porch.
my own sandwich. I like to put the meat on the bread and the mayonnaise and the mayonnaise on the bread. I like to put the meat on the bread Yay! You put the time, Mama. his head. On his head, he had horns. Is he still here, Leroy? He next to Mama. Oh, okay. No, he'll stay here with you and Mama. I'll be right back. Soon as I can, as fast as I can, I promise. You're, you're not thinking of uh, running off without your mother, dear. Oh, no, Mama. Just want to go to the store. Leave her here, right? Leave her here. Slow, slow down. <laughs> I just don't want you to eat too fast. It's not good for your digestion. Did I do bad, Mama? I did bad. No, 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 no,
okay. You want to buy my sandwich, mama? No, no son. No, son. That's okay. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. You want to be good? You want to be good. You love me, mama? Uh, mama love Leroy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yay! Oh. Are, are you, you finished with that knife, Leroy? Yes. We will finish. We will finish. I did good, Mama, right? Yes, Leroy, you did good. You did mm. very good, Leroy. You don't, you don't want to bite on my sandwich? Mm, no. Mama, all right. Stacy. Love you too, Leroy. I, I thought Stacy, I you was going on a short trip. I, I can't go nowhere, Mama. No, why? Someone cut the tires. Oh my God. The tires on the car are cutting, Mom. The trooper is in the garage. Oh, the tires are cut and the trooper's there? Oh, good. Did you invite him in so he can have something to eat? Couldn't tell him anything, Mama. No? Why not? He's incapacitated, Mama. What do you mean, incapacitated? He's dead, Mama! Dead as a doornail! It's Leroy again. We gotta get him some help. Leroy! There's a man laying in the garage. Did you see him? Man? No man. Leroy, the tires on the car are sliced. Do you know who would do such a thing? <laughs> the tires. The tires I cut. Yeah. <laughs> Leroy, why would you do such a thing? <laughs> Mama, he's staring at me. This is making me nervous. <laughs> Leroy, <clears throat> Leroy, oh, why did you cut the tires? Because you told me to, Mama. I love you, Mama. You love me, Mama. I did a good job, right? I did a good job, right? <laughs> yes, son. Mama love you. You did a Good job. Yay! You look good. Nice cut. Yay! You slashed them all the way. I've never seen such great slashing. <laughs> now, what did you do to the man? No man. No man. No man in the garage. The man in the garage. There was no good man in the garage. No man. I cut the tires. I cut the tires. I cut the tires. The tires I cut. <laughs> why don't we why don't we all just sit in the living room here? Mm -hmm. You sit down in the living room. I'll be right back. 
I left something in the garage. Okay. This storm is going to play out. I don't know. I wish it would stop. <laughs> Me too. I would feel better if Mr. Aaron was here. I can't believe it. I'm not even sure how he slept through all this noise. Ah, uh, that's probably because he's dead tired. Please don't use that terminology right now, Mama. But, Mama. Look what I got. What are you planning to do with that? Whatever I have to. Please don't hurt my boy. As long as your son doesn't hurt me. There's a dead man in our garage. There won't be a dead woman in here. Shower tomorrow. Shower tomorrow. Shower today, Leroy. Come on, it's gonna be okay. Get. I don't want it to If you don't get up, I'm gonna have this nice gentleman drag you again. You beat on yourself again. Oh. He's a pissy man. Get up, Leroy! I know you understand. Where did you go? Leroy, 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 Leroy. I know you understand what I'm saying. He's no water to go. That's it, that's it. Drag him in the shit. Let's go. Let's go. Ah! 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 Ah!
Let's go. What's what's the situation here? He's rolling around in the on the ground, getting all sorts of dirt and filth all over him, and he needs to be relaxed, and he will not get in the shower on his own. Why are you dragging him? He won't get in on his own. No. Let him go. Let him go. He's not going to get in on his own. I've tried every trick in the book with him. Really? Because I thought I heard him say the shower was cold. <laughs> Hi, Leroy. Hi, Leroy. How are you? What a cold shower. So, so the shower's too cold for you? What a cold shower. Leroy, I don't blame you, okay? I wouldn't want to get in a cold shower either. I wouldn't want to get in a cold shower either. Leroy, how about you and I make a deal, okay? You can trust, you can trust me, Leroy. You can trust me. If you go to the shower, if you go to the shower, I'll let you play more games oh, no. and I'll give you cookies. No, wanted like to go to the shower. I wanted to go. Okay, and, and I'll make sure that the water is nice and warm, okay? Warm water for you to shower. Warm water. Leave away like warm water. Warm. How are you going to do that? You're not a plumber. <sighs> Thank you, Miss Rowe. Okay, I got it from you. No, see, you're not a plumber in the what's called. Can you see me in your office after the next half? Listen, please? honey. <laughs> This is a real hospital with real people in real situations. Your little psychology one-on-one won't work. Thank you. Whatever. I do not appreciate you reprimanding me in front of the other workers. I have been here longer than you, I am older than you, and I want to be respected. Why are you here? You have enough time to retire. Why torture yourself? It is quite evident that you are very, very unhappy. <laughs> Being unhappy makes me happy. Okay, well, now since I'm the new director, I'd like to bring a new attitude to this place. One where staff and clients are like family. And I don't think that you're gonna fit in. What do you think? I think that you want to get rid of me, and that is the wrong move. Okay, well, let's make this easy. If you don't want to retire, why not just transfer? The answer is no. I am not retiring. I am not transferring. I will be here a lot longer than you. Believe me, Ms. Director. <laughs> we'll see. So you have a nice life. Okay. You as well, Miss No Longer Acting Director. Uh, excuse me, I hate to disturb you, but Dr. Allison's outside and uh, he has the, a look on his face. The, the regional director? Yes. What, what look? That subject serves the long face. Okay, well what is he doing showing up here unannounced? We could have prepared for him. He's not unannounced. I called him. You called him? Yes. When did you have time to call him? You called him before and already had an appointment scheduled. That's something you should have shared with me. I don't have to share anything with you. Based on your behavior, I called him tonight. My behavior? Are you kidding me? I don't kid around. Uh, did I stand with something here? Should I just go? No, it's fine. That's fine. We'll just have to get you out of here a little sooner. <laughs> Wrong. Charlie, don't leave because this concerns you too. What concerns him? What are you talking about? Uh, I'll just go get the doctor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good evening, Dr. Bree, Dr. Rowe. Good evening, Dr. Allison. I wasn't expecting you. Well, I always make myself available for emergencies like this. Emergency? What emergency? It's been reported that you have a client that refused to bathe. 
No, that wasn't an emergency. We solved it, actually. Um, the client eventually showered, and now he's back in his room. And how did you solve it? I reprimanded you. For, for doing my job. The what it was called, the client needed to bathe. As we were solving the problem, in walks this uh, so-called director and reprimanded me. I, I wasn't reprimanding you. Yes, you were. You were. Um, Charlie, am I right? Uh, pretty much. Yes, absolutely. Dr. Bree, you weren't aware that you were reprimanding Dr. Rowe? There were rumors that this doctor has continually harassed and threatened clients, um, in addition to this client, and I'm actually going to launch an investigation. Dr. Bree, you were responding to rumors. I was actually looking into it. An allegation like that should not go unchecked. Who were your sources? Yes, college girl. Tell him, who were your sources? The, the client. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. The mentally ill client is what she said. He's mentally challenged, but he knows when he's being mistreated. He told me that she throws bugs on him, and he even told me that she makes him eat them sometimes. The client told you this. Yes, the client has an unexplained fear of bugs. Now, I've been looking into his file, and I'm realizing that that fear had to, had to have developed since he's been in this hospital. He didn't come in with that fear. Now, all of a sudden... Do you have any proof of that? Well, no, I haven't been able to... Rush to judgment. Rush to judgment. You're doing all of this because you do not like me. I take this very seriously. You know what? I'm filing charges. That's insane. But that's not what I called you for. This is the real doozy right here. Right. Thank you. This is the real doozy. She solved the problem by allowing the client to bathe in our showers. Are you kidding me? She let the client use the staff shower. What? Total violation. Dr. Bree, can you explain that, please? He needed a shower. Maintenance couldn't get there in time, so I allowed him to be showered in the staff shower room. And she was alone, outside of the shower. For at least three minutes. No, 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 no. I wasn't alone. Charlie was outside the entire time. Isn't that right, Charlie? Now listen, uh, I'm not trying to get involved in this right here. I need my job, you know what I mean? You were there the entire time. Just, just tell her. No okay, cap, I need my job. Nope. No. You were alone for at least three minutes outside of that door because there was an altercation down the hallway. An altercation that you started and needed emergency assistance with. There you go again, accusing me of starting the altercation. You did! Calm down, Dr. Rowe. I'm gonna just, you know what? You're right. But if you were not my daughter's age, I would just jump up and run it! Dr. Bree, sit down. Please, calm down. Calm down, good one. Hmm. Is that a tear? Do I see a tear in your eye? <laughs> Is it too much for you? I see how you're playing this. Mm -hmm. Dr. Bree, you seem very stressed already. You've only been here for a year, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna have to bring you under departmental charges. Charges for what? Dr. Rowe, would you mind taking the acting director's position again until we complete this investigation? I don't see why not. Wait, wait a minute, what about, what about protocol? This is protocol. 
I find you aggressive and unreasonable. It appears as though you have a vendetta. You can't control your anger. You're placing yourself and your staff in jeopardy. I have to protect this institution, not you. Dr. Rowe, is there a, a private office I can go to? Yes, Use, yes. please. Mm -hmm. Right down the hall. Charlie, yeah. would you please show Dr. Allison the way? That's right, Doctor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? You should start backing. Psychology 101. <laughs> I think it's been a great night. <laughs> it's been a great night.
Yes. Yes, stab. As bad men I stab, I stab them for bad men. Wanna hurt you a mama? Stab the bad men. <laughs> okay, then. I okay. did. You okay. love me, you love me, mama? I took the back. I did. Yeah. I, I, I love you, Leroy. I love you. Okay, Leroy, okay. Mm. Oh, Why are you crying, Stacy? I, I don't like to see you cry. I'm, I'm not crying, Leroy. Yes. I'm, I'm happy, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Why, why don't you go back and sit down and, and I'll be right there. Everything is going to... Mama will make sure everything is all right for you. Mm. Oh, okay, Leroy? Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna die, Mama. I love my little brother, but I'm not gonna get killed by him. Don't, don't say that, child. Don't say things like that. This is kill or be killed. Gotta kill that monster. No, well, you know he's not well. I'm not taking any chances. He's my little brother. I love him, but I'm not dying for him. You don't put those thoughts in your head, child. No. What are you going to do with that? Give me that gun. No way. This place is crazy. You do as I say. Now give me the gun. Yes, Mama. Mama. What? With your child? hand. What about my hands? Where's the cut on your hand? Uh, cut on my on air chop. I came down and you had a lot of blood on your hands. Where's the cut, Mama? Mm. <coughs> air child? You had blood all over your hand. I thought you cut yourself. Don't put those you, things in your head. You didn't expect me to come back. I told you I was going out to meet on a date. You didn't think I was going to come back until after the storm. I came back to be with you. Don't put those things in your head, child. Uh, you know you have mental issues, too. Leroy didn't come until after Mr. the trooper's murder and Mr. Aaron's murder. Only we were here. And then, and then you went back out. It was just the three of us here. And I didn't kill him, so what's going on? You also left the house right after the trooper. And again, Leroy isn't smart enough to kill somebody and then cut their tires. Everything's going to work out. My psycho killer brother is afraid of everything. Bugs, lightning, us. Why did you kill the trooper, mama? Why did you kill Mr. Aaron? Why? All right. All right, you got me. I had to kill you for sleeping with you. Sleeping with me? He never slept with me. That's a lie. I saw you sneaking out of his room early in the morning on uh, Thursday morning. Yes, I stayed in his room because of the storm the other night. But he never slept with me, never. Mr. Aaron is just a nice old man. <laughs> yes, so nice. You and him were going to sneak out on a date. Yes, we sneak out on a date. A date just to get you 
purchase you a fur coat for your upcoming 85th birthday. And you killed your husband, my grandpa, 13 months ago on the 13th, yes? Yes. And the trooper? Yes. And my mama was missing because you killed her too, didn't you? Yes. I had to kill her. I, I saw her making love with your step-grandpa. They didn't even know I was watching. You killed my mother too? When I was 13, huh? Yes. Oh, that would be wonderful, dear. Let me ask you something. If this were your last meal, would this be your favorite? Oh, definitely. Or would it be something else? Oh, definitely this, I tell you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't use that example. Don't be silly, dear. Sounds like you might be trying to poison me or something. That's uh, too humane. <laughs> Just joking, dear. <laughs> Enjoy your soup. No poison. I promise. Where's Big Stacy? I haven't seen her all day. Oh, you know our daughter. You know her well. It's cold outside, so I'm sure wherever she is, she's frozen. I know that's right. Where's Leroy? On the couch sleeping. Oh, and where are your grandchildren? Are you gonna list everyone who lives in this house or have come through the house? And everything just seems so quiet and eerie. I'm just trying to have a nice meal with my husband. How's your soup? Oh, it's really delicious. You put your foot in it this time. Who? Why would you say that? Oh, this is some of the best tasting soup I ever had. So then you waited until he went to sleep and then you offed him? Never came back. Well, you and Leroy were with me, but she was taking good care of you. Okay. But what happened to my mother? She left the house and just disappeared. Mama, are you all right? You've been like to wear it all week. You okay? I was fine. I just don't feel good about it. A lot of things. Well, maybe you should take your medicine. You know what the doctor said? The doctor? Well, he know. He wore his jacket the wrong way the other week. <laughs> no, mama. That's the way they wear their gown. I don't want to talk about it. So, Andrew, my baby, is there anything you want to tell me? Oh, my why would you ask like that? Has anything happened to you? Anybody take advantage of you? No, mama. Everything's fine. I'm asking because I'm your mother and I know things. No, mama. Everything is okay. Thank God. God, you got the nerve to 
put God in a sentence coming out of your mouth. You was a nasty whore. I watched you several weeks sneak up to my husband's room and sleep with him. I saw you in all your nakedness. No, no, no. You need to take your medicine. You need to take your medicine. Are you hallucinating? Are you hallucinating now? Mama, you know you see things. You know you hear things. I don't need no medicine. Okay, Mom. Oh, Mama. Okay, please. What would give you this alleged affair that happened? You know I was gone for two weeks. You came in my house. Late nights, several nights, and slept with my husband. Mama, you need to take your medication. This is crazy. Oh, really? I'm crazy. I'll be right back. <laughs> frozen somewhere you meant it here yeah, when he said that I had put my foot in it <laughs> I had to laugh because he was actually eating Angela's foot <laughs> and I thought he knew something <laughs> you cooked my mama many times so where's her body now Gone. There's no more remains. This is terrible. You know, you know that gumbo soup that you and Lee Boy love so much. I told you it was. A, I had a secret recipe. <laughs> that was my secret. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. Forgive us. You're sick. I was afraid of Leroy, but you're the monster. He confessed to those murders because you told him to, didn't he? He will say anything I tell him to say. Unlike you, he loves his mother. You had him released on his weekend help ass, didn't you? Yeah. They realized Leroy wasn't a danger to himself or anybody. He just has issues and is gentle. Gentle as a lamb. That's because I raised him right. Mama, were you going to kill me or Leroy? Go ahead, Mama. Go for that gun. See if I shoot you right between the eyes. You wanted to kill me and Leroy, didn't you? You're crazy. What kind of a person would I be if I killed my own flesh? Grandpapa was your flesh. My mama was your flesh. The storm is starting to die down. 
daylight is coming. I'm going to take my brother back to the institution. And I'm going to find a place. And of course, I'm not going to tell you where it is. How are you gonna do that? I, there is, you don't have a car. We'll walk. You gonna turn me in? No, mama. I love you too much. But how are you gonna explain the trooper's murder and Mr. Aaron's murder? You said, Mama, why you said? Mama, not said. Mama, not said. You would. Mama, okay. Now, I want you to listen to your sister. She's going to take you on a trip. <gasps> you want to go on a trip? <laughs> to the zoo. To the zoo! I want to go to the zoo, Mama. You want you want to go to the zoo? Come to the zoo, Mama. You, and I'm gonna make the bologna sandwiches. We go to the zoo. To the zoo. But, but Mama, come. No, Mama has something else to do. No, ma you, no. Mm -hmm. yeah, Mama has something else to do. Mm -hmm. uh. Stacy, would you take my boy to the zoo before you take him to that other place? Okay, Leroy. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> okay, Leroy, love you, Mama. Mama, love Leroy. Oh, to the zoo, to the zoo. And I make the bologna sandwiches. I make the bologna sandwiches, Mom. You, oh, I love you, Mama. I, I love you, Leroy. <laughs>